Yo, what's up? It's Black Boy Blanco of Gift Shop FLA, and this is the interview with Noor. So I'm actually fr originally from uh, Manhattan, New York, Uptown, Shouts Out, 110, Harlem, A. Um, but I, I also did some time living out in Jersey. Um, two years before I moved out to Florida, I lived in Jersey. Uh, but I like to think that really more than anything, I'm always gonna be an uptown cat. Um, really, I like to think that's where I get a lot of my creativity from. If you look back in time, I mean, that's when all the Andy Warhol and all that stuff was really going on in that era. I'm right by, you know, University Heights. So um, there's a lot, that, you know, as far as artistry and obviously fashion that's come out of um, New York, especially the island of Manhattan. Um, and I like to think I'm really inspired by all of that. Uh, I'm a huge 80s fan. I mean, I think everybody is nowadays. The 80s have definitely come back, but um, honestly, I love everything about that era. Uh, you know, I got to live during the last bit of the 90s, so really the 80s and 90s, New York is a huge inspiration. Um, not also, obviously, Central Florida living here now. That's really um, what inspired the whole brand, but I like to think that my drive, my hustle, and just even my uh, admiration for fashion really comes from being up from up north. Uh, do it, you know, I mean, honestly, so much of it is um, just you're just talking about doing it, maybe you're gonna do it, or you're doubting yourself. Um, I know I've wasted too, many, too much time sitting down on the sofa, coming up with million dollar ideas and never really acting on them. So um, really, the worst thing that can happen is you never do do it. So I recommend everybody, um, yo, even if you know, you're not certain, just go ahead and give it a shot. It's never gonna be perfect, take it from me, I'm a perfectionist, it's not gonna be perfect, but um, if you never get it out there, I mean, nothing's ever gonna happen. So more than anything, just do it. And um, if you can find some like-minded people who are just as inspired, by all means, but if not, don't let that hold you back because um, nobody's gonna work as hard as you for your dream, you feel me? So that's like the best advice I could give out there. Really just chase your dreams and like, it's not easy. If it was, everybody would do it, you feel me? So it's gonna be hard. I'm further in it than I ever thought I'd be and it's still hard, like every day, like I'm, I got grades under this hat, don't get it twisted. But um, like I said, just keep going, yo. And if you aren't going yet, then start. Uh, I really want to be one of the, uh, for lack of better words, founding fathers of like the Central Florida scene. Um, you know, like I said, I've lived out here for about seven years and for about five or six is um, about how long I've been actively on the scene. And um, for a long time, I've kind of kept my head down, really studied um, just everything from music to fashion, just seeing how the ins and outs of it work. Um, I like to joke that, you know, some of um, the other local brands in our area I've kind of shadowed and mentored, uh, not really officially, but you know, through them, I kind of learned how to move and um, what to do and what not to do. And honestly, even before I got into uh, doing clothing, I thought about doing the music thing also. And the thing with music, it just like the clothing brand, it's like, not everyone can do it. There's definitely a, uh, what's the word? Um, cut all this out uh, there's definitely a uh, there's definitely a formula so now everybody can do the music thing. it's definitely a formula or the fashion thing and uh you really got to make sure that you know what i mean you i know at least with me i don't try to oversaturate everything you know what i mean i want this supply and demand so uh really just making sure that you have a, a roadmap and whenever you do anything because um that's gonna help if you're if you're not really thinking everything through and just doing whatever then I can't see it going too well. It's, you know, spontaneous is cool, but you gotta have some sort of plan, you feel me? So we've got two main logos. Um, the first one is this orange one here. Really, this is kind of us channeling um, quite renowned local mascots that will go without being said. Uh, you know what I mean? It's supposed to give you really that kind of like theme parky mascot kind of character. Uh, a lot of this stuff is inspired by flash tattooing. Um, my partner is a tattoo artist full time and uh, you know, we like to mix a bit of our own inspiration of the whole Central Florida scene with just like the staples and um, tattooing world. So uh, you'll see even similar designs to this. The other one is kind of um, on this cap right now and it's also used right there. That's really trying to 
channel and parody um greetings from miami uh postcards greetings from tampa greetings from orlando really just um anywhere really all the states do it but um what we were really trying to do is use that and almost um that be our box letter logo uh as far as like the logo then when you think of gift shop besides the orange that's what you're gonna think of and we have all the plans to uh reproduce plenty of them with different imagery per different themes and things of that sort as well as solid color waves patterns really anything you can think of that we can fit in those letters we plan on doing it and um yeah again we're really just trying to channel the whole tourism central florida hot um tourism central florida amusement park novelty vibe you know really through our designs and um just the whole brand together really uh so we chose the wizard mostly the number one reason was obviously the uh wizard gift shop on 192 that's uh by far our 100 percent our um biggest inspiration uh the other reason we chose the wizard is there's just a large theme of um magicry and magic and sorcery and wizardry uh wizards in central florida you got everything from the orlando magic to you know disney magic to the wizarding world of harry potter back in the day in orlando there used to be a fun house called the uh, mystery fun house that had a giant wizard statue in front of it uh and if it's not just a wizard thing i mean you got medieval times uh, you used to have Skull Kingdom, R.I.P., and all these things have very uh, Middle Earth or um, fantasy elements, fantasy elements, Middle Earth or fantasy elements that I really feel kind of um, define Central Florida, you know what I mean? Granted, it might have just started off as a commercial way to bring other people in, but if you really want to talk about like the imagery in our backyard, it is all this stuff that I'm stating. It is the wizard. Um, even like I said, the OG magic logo before was Stuff the Dragon was a wizard. Um, I'm not certain why they didn't stick with it. If I had to take a wild guess, I think it's because of the Washington Wizards, but here we are repping the wizard still, you know, 2019, uh, you know, gift shop for the 2019 and the 2020. Uh, if we're speaking locally, one of my biggest inspirations and in another local clothing brand is a uh, market. Um, they've honestly seen what they do. Uh, fortunately, you know, they've kind of took me under their wing, took me under their wing, took me and I was able to kind of see the ins and outs of everything. Um, if we're not talking locally, other brands really inspire me. I'm really into uh, Born X Rays. I like what they're doing, really trying to um, almost like time capsule a time in Venice that, you know, unfortunately no longer exists because take it from someone who lived in New York and seen it happen and it's even happening in New Jersey um gentrification is a real thing and it's gonna happen and although it's a little weird here because you know whenever this area first started you had a lot more of one race and then flight took off and a whole lot of different races moved out and now with the um gentrification of the area of course it's kind of hard like Central Florida is on the rise like they're gonna start knocking down a lot of these mom and pop businesses and replacing them with either chains or um shit more amusement park things but um i think that's what we're really trying to do with the brand is kind of just hold on to that old world florida vibe and aesthetic because um i've seen some of the gift shops there are usually wild pastel colors or have um beautiful you know street art painted on the side of them slowly and slowly are being painted over grays and dull colors because we're moving into a more modern sleek future and i feel some of this americana cheesy aesthetic um is on its way out completely honestly so again with the brand what we're trying to do is hold on to that because uh you know what's more central florida than theme parks um leisure and having fun so Oh, absolutely. Um, I think in New York, especially, obviously, there's way more competition. Um, here, fortunately, like I said, I've been on the scene for a while, so I was able to make a lot of relationships prior to even starting my brand. And um, even prior to having this idea, I've shown so much love. So I really feel like it's a lot easier for your love to get noticed out here because, again, uh, New York, LA, other major cities are so oversaturated with everyone trying to make it. And I mean, hey, I don't blame them, you know what I mean? I don't wanna work a nine to five either, so if I can go ahead and make a living doing something that I love and have a passion for, by all means, I'm gonna give it everything I got. But um, no, I definitely think, um, I'm definitely probably having a bit more success being in Central Florida. But with that being said, I feel like I'm a little biased because 
not too many brands in Central Florida or shit. Even Florida are really trying to showcase any imagery that's native to Florida outside of beaches and flamingos and really what like South Beach is known for. So I really think that I'm this shit's bound to catch because again this is almost an aesthetic that's not even tapped into yet. You know what I mean? We all know it, we all see it, it's in our backyard, but um the rest of the world, I mean unless you're fortunate enough to come travel through here, which same thing you can take that into consideration. Like this is the world's like destination, tourist destination, vacation destination. So so many people come through here and kind of get a feel of this, but it's probably done with once you go back home to your major city or your rural area or your beachside home. Um, but fortunately for us, you know, all those three things are just a little bit away from us. If you really think about it, beach isn't too far, city isn't, and the country isn't either. So, um, yeah, I think fortunately being in Central Florida, and I, honestly, I don't think gift shop would exist if it was if I still lived up north. Um, I don't know if I'd be doing fashion. Who knows what I'd be doing? But I'd probably have a different aesthetic because I really think it took the last seven years of living out here to even inspire this, you know, and make this a thing. And um, you know, I like to joke all the time that a lot of the designs and things we do almost have like an inception effect because it's just layers on layers on layers, and. Um, all of that stuff and those kind of Easter eggs aren't necessarily meant to be known right away, but as time goes, I think it's gonna be really cool once people start putting two and two together and like really picking on what it is that we're trying to, you know, lay down. So. To keep up with us and The Wizard, follow us at Gift Shop FLA on all major social media or check out our website, giftshopfla.com.